Let's check in with Gary now, who's in beautiful Yapoon in central Queensland. Gary, what's the occasion? Melissa, it's the premier event of the year. It's the Food and Wine, well, Capricorn Food and Wine Festival. Uh, it's hosted by the McCure Capricorn Resort. Officially kicks off tomorrow night with a, a bit of a cocktail party. It runs right across the weekend. And I'm told eight to 9,000 people are expected. It's just about sold out already and understandable with celebrity chefs like uh, Matt Galinsky, uh, Ben O'Donoghue and David Pugh cooking up a storm across the weekend. In fact, the barbie's being fired up at the moment. Hope to have a bit of a taste test once we get into the weather. But a Beautiful day in Yapoon, a magic day in Brisbane. I'll have your Friday forecast a little later. Looks like a great spot. Thanks, Gary. To the weather now, and uh, it looks as though Gary has his own personal chef on duty tonight. Gary, what's on the menu? Uh I do, Lofty. This is Murray cooking up a storm. We've got salmon, prawns, barramundi, uh, beautiful Wagyu beef, and I think Murray's cooking that big, fat piece of steak for Howie, our cameraman. He's been uh, dribbling over the last few minutes. Look, the lucky people that are heading to the uh, Capricorn Food and Wine Festival over the weekend, unfortunately, it's just about sold out. So if you miss out this year, make sure you put it in the diary for next year. It kicks off tomorrow evening and runs right across the weekend, and the weather is looking sensational. It was a great day in Brisbane today, as well as we check the temperatures across the southeast for you. Uh, a comfortable 27 degrees in Brisbane today and pretty much most of the suburbs across the southeast. Not quite as warm on the Gold Coast, just feeling that sea breeze. Well, here in Yapoon, we hit 26 degrees. Now, the weather map, a large high will strengthen as it moves east, directing moist onshore winds and showers over Tassie, northeast New South Wales and southeast Queensland. To the capitals tomorrow, a frosty and foggy morning for the nation's capital, minus two to start the day. A few showers in Melbourne, ice Isolated showers for Hobart, cloudy but dry in Alice Springs. Now back into Queensland, very warm across the north and down through the interior. 33 for Mount Isa, 30 in Longreach, fine and sunny along the central and Capricornia coast. Rocky expecting 30 degrees here in Yapoon, 25 in the wide bay in Burnett, a partly cloudy day. Now in the southeast, a sunny morning, the chance of showers in the afternoon, most likely the evening. There is the chance of a thunderstorm in the south late evening and overnight. The sunny coast, 25, the Goldie, 24, 27 in Ipswich, Logan, 25. Moreton Bay, variable winds, 5 to 10 knots, tending northeast, 10 to 15 in the middle of the day. Brisbane are mostly sunny. Just the chance of a late shower. Down to 11 overnight, but a top of 26. Now, freshening southeasterly winds will deliver a cooler weekend in Brisbane with a few coastal showers Saturday and Sunday. And the good news, we should see some outback rain for the farmers across the weekend. But, Melissa Lofty, I know you can hear the meat sizzling. You can see the beautiful meat. I just wish we had smell of vision mm. Yes. I've got a date yeah. with some Wagyu. I think. I think we need it. Thank you, Gary. Thanks for watching tonight. Good night. Tracy's next. Good night.